This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. They sent me over an early access code of The Sims 4 Island Living so I can get some content for you guys. Thank you guys so much and let's get to this video. Yes, let's make sure you click up. Oh, oh, yes, and then you go, oh, yes. Okay, let's resume. Hi guys, The Sims here, and welcome back to the channel. And today I bring to you my new Island Living LP. I'm so excited. Um, the name of this LP is called Kaya Ulu, and I'm gonna put it on the screen right now so you can see how it's pronounced. It is Hawaiian, and it means community and neighborhood. So I really wanted to play up on the sense of community from this pack because when I got my hands on it, that's one of the first thing I noticed with the residents of Salani is that they're so friendly, and they include you in a lot of their everyday lives. And when I went to research um, a lot of Polynesian culture and Hawaiian culture it was the same so I knew I wanted to start um with that I wanted to uh, I wanted to um bring that culture that realism into my LP and that started with creating the sims I wanted my sims to look like they were from that culture um so I did a lot of research um not only when it comes to like um physique and uh, appearance but also uh additional you know like cultural things that maybe uh the sims team didn't add that's something that we can amplify in our lp and that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm really excited about uh this pack because of the culture it brings i've been submerged into this culture and it's so beautiful and peaceful and breathtaking and i am absolutely I'm a huge admirer of the Hawaiian culture. Um, it's really funny because in high school, I actually had to learn about, I learned a lot about the Hawaiian culture. Um, for my chorus class, we had to write a song in another language and learn about that culture and teach the song and present it to the class. And I did that with a Hawaiian culture. So it's so nice to kind of, uh, you know, do a, you know, a whole full circle and bring that back to what we're doing right now. So um, that's one thing that I love about this pack is the culture and the diversity of it all. I cannot wait to dive into this and it's just gonna be amazing. So um, right now we are making one of our main sims this is makani ona and makani actually means wind in hawaiian and um she is going to be one of our main sims so makani comes from a village of a lot of people a island of a lot of people and her and her boothang are finally moving away from the island into their new place because they are soon to get married. So in this LP, um, right, right when we start, the the week after we start will be their wedding. We're going to plan it. We're going to schedule it on the calendar. And they're going to have a wedding. And the whole family is all ready to go. Yes, you heard me, whole family. So another thing I'm going to be doing different in this LP is that we're actually going to have generations. So um, we have Makani here. And we're going to meet her boyfriend, who is Ori Waia, and he grew up on the island as well. So uh, Makani and Ori knew each other from very little. Um, they were both raised on the island, and they have been friends, best friends, and now they have fallen in love, and they are getting married one week from when we start. So um, on the island, um, Makani has a mother and a grandmother. Her mother name is Palila, and her grandmother name is uh, Koali. And <clears throat> they are the village healers. Um, they work a lot with the wellness skill, and um, they just go around and help other people, residents, and heal them. That is like their expertise. That's what they bring to the island. Um, and Ori, um, Ori's name actually means my light in Hawaiian. And his grandfather is on the island. And his grandfather's name is Liko. And he is like one of the handymen of the island who builds things and um, repairs things and things of that nature. So um, all of them, they all were on this island with a whole bunch of other people. And now that Makani and Ori are about to get married and they're ready to start their lives, they're finally moving away from the island to do just that. But they also feel like they have a calling. Um, and their calling is, um, for Makani, her calling is to the island. She feels like the island is calling her to help preserve it 
help um, conserve it and just keep it from all of the bad things that can happen to it. So we're going to be going through that with her. I believe that her aspira her aspiration is the beach life. So she loves to be in her, the, she loves to be in the island of Solani. And her traits, I believe, is child of the islands, loves the outdoors, and maybe nurturing or good parent or something like that. Um, and for Ori, he is all things water. So um, he feels like the the ocean is where he needs to be. That's where that's how he contributes. Everyone uh, feels like there's a way for them to contribute to the island, and those are their their reasons and they are finally going to be able to do that because they're going to be by themselves so i'm really excited about this because these two little lovebirds right two little lovebirds starting their life um they both want a huge family their grandparents and parents want a huge family and they're going to do just that you guys know i love having babies in my lp and i'm so excited <laughs> um but they have nowhere to start so they've told their family like oh yeah we found a beautiful little a small little house for us, but they actually lie. They're going to be in a beach rental um, and they're going to have a week to either come up, find a new place to live or, or they're going to decorate the current place to make it look like their own. But they lie. You know, they, they've been on this island since the day they were born and they know all these people. Could you imagine being with a loved one around all your family and not having that couple's time, that one-on-one -on -one time? They're finally going to be able to do that and they didn't want to wait. They wanted to just jump right into it. They wanted to um, be by themselves, be all lovey-dovey and all that good stuff. So um, I just thought it was really cute how they were just like, yeah, let's just go to this this little uh, random place and then we'll find it. So one week from the day when we start the LP will be their wedding. And that's when all the family are going to be there. So they have one week to get enough money to either build a new house or or decorate their current house to make it look like it's there. So their family don't know they just left because they wanted to leave. Because that would hurt their feelings. Um, so every, the, all of these Sims are, I made all these Sims. I was in cast for about five hours, y'all. a lot. Um, but one thing I want to talk about is the attire that I put them in. So in my head, Solani is a warm, a hot climate, never have any snow. Um, and I wanted their attire to reflect that, even their cold and hot options i wanted their attire to reflect um their surroundings their environment and you'll see a lot of beach tops and skirts or you'll see a lot of open toe shoes or no shoes you'll see a lot of these flower crowns and lays and things like that just because i really wanted to embrace that culture and bring that to the lp plus it's really freaking cute um and i did do all of their outfits um I did like five, four or five outfits for every day and I show you their formal outfit. I did not show you everything because this video would have been 45 minutes. Um, also, at the end of this video, there is going to be a machinima intro showing a little bit of the backstory and how everything is going to start off. So if you are interested in seeing that, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see what happens. But one thing I am so excited about, y'all, is I'm so excited about having generations in this and that was the big thing I was talking about on Twitter is that something I never done is have generations because I have a hard time aging my sims up I have a hard time uh seeing people die seeing sims die and I don't want that to happen but it's going to in this LP Ugh. um so let me go through a little bit of the generation so Makani right here we're making Makani Ona and like I said, her name means wind um her mother is Pali Palila and her grandmother is Kowali and Ori his name is Ori Waia, and Ori means my light, and his grandpa name is Liko. Um, so they, like I said, they all grew up on the island. They finally have the time. Their family has given their blessing for them to um, leave the island, leave the village, and go and do what they are supposed to do and just live their life, live their dreams, and all that good stuff. I am just so freaking excited. Um, one thing that gets me more excited than anything is how well this pack works with others. Um, like I immediately started thinking about the wellness skill from, um, outdoor retreat, spa day with massages and meditations, um, the fire dance from get together. Um, we have an out, we have an off the grid lot trait that doesn't give you electricity and Wi-Fi. And we have uh, laundry alternatives from Laundry Day. We have 
uh, things from seasons that can help. I'm just so excited to see all of this stuff come together. And I even ended up using other cast items from those packs because y'all know lately I've been going with the mix of Alpha and Max's Match just because Max's Match is evolving, honey. And it was male CC because, you know, the male CC, the male, the male stuff that they make for the game packs are really good. But the female stuff always look too blocky or clay-like. But it's okay. We use some of the stuff because some of the stuff looks really good. Like that skirt you seen in the first outfit. That skirt is from this pack. And it's just super, super cute. And I use a lot of the things from the pack because this pack was just absolutely amazing. So you'll see a lot of that. Um, you'll see a lot of that in here. If you do want to see all the outfits, make sure you tune into that first episode. Okay. Because that first episode, if you're watching this when it comes out, the first episode is coming later tonight. So you're getting two videos today. You're getting this cast video, and you're also getting the first episode of Kayaulu. And I'm so freaking excited. This whole pack made me go back and just research and just... I didn't watch Moana. I didn't watch um, Lilo and Stitch. It's just brought me so... It just brought me back, and it's just such a happy, a happy feeling. And I'm just... Oh, I'm just so freaking excited. So... Yeah, that's what's that's what's going on, y'all. Um, I wanted I wanted Makani to, like I said, look like she's from her culture, and I wanted her to have all of the things that um that they have in the Hawaiian culture. But I'm gonna be honest right now, I don't know everything. Um, I googled a lot. <clears throat> I know Google is not the answer to everything, but that's what I I had provided. So if I'm saying something wrong or I'm I'm not clear about something, and you know, please correct me. Um, I think the best thing you could do when teaching people about your culture is actually teaching them, tell them, um, educate them. So they're not going around ignorant to the next person. I don't want to be ignorant here on my channel. So I did research, but I don't know everything. So if I am doing something wrong, if I am saying something wrong, or you just have general input because it's your background or your heritage, please teach me in the comments, uh, tell me, give me ideas and things in the comments. I would absolutely love that because I really do want to bring the true Hawaiian culture to this LP. And like I said, I don't know everything. I can do my best. Um, I respect it enough to research. I didn't just want to be like, Oh, let's start an LP on a beach oh, and do all these things. No, like I really wanted to embrace the culture and the diversity of this pack and I didn't want to offend anyone. So I, I definitely sat down and I did my research hours before I started doing this LP. So please educate and teach people in the chat. It doesn't have to be offensive. If they don't know, they don't know. So teach them. I think when it comes to culture and diversity, the best thing you can do is teach people <clears throat> because they don't know. You do. You're blessed to know those things. So why not spread it around with other people so we're not all walking around ignorant and not knowing. Okay, spread the love, spread the love. Um, but I am just over the world excited. Like I cannot wait to get into the water. I cannot wait to have babies. I cannot wait to have an island wedding. I cannot wait to have uh, cover parties. And I can't wait for dolphins and fishing and odd jobs because we're gonna have to figure out how to get that money. So we're gonna be going through full-time jobs, the new active career odd jobs, uh, part-time jobs, all that good stuff. We're going to have to figure out a way how to raise this money so we can have a new house. Because the last thing we want is to show our families that we were all just rushing to get off the island, out the village, so we can have our own space. Because that would really hurt their feelings. So we really do want to be mindful <laughs> of how we do things. And I think that adds such a fun aspect. That first week, we got to grind. You know, we really got to, we really got to do things. But at the same time, we got to remember that these two love birds about to get married. Like, it's going to be so beautiful. So excited. We're going to have an island wedding, a beach wedding. Oh, my gosh. And there's going to be generations. Like, think about it, y'all. When Makani has a baby, if we get a picture, it's going to be her grandmother, her mother, Makani, and the baby. That's four generations in one picture. Four. Ain't that crazy? Oh, I'm so excited. Um, So right here, we are starting to make Ori. And, um, oh, I put a high slider in my game because I really want, I wanted um, Makani's grandma, grandmother to be short. And I wanted um, Ori to be uh, tall. So um, I put a height slider in. So if you see that little woman down there peeking, it's because she's short. 
Um, and you'll actually, you can see the height difference and things like that in game. And it doesn't affect anything at all, which I was really excited about. So, um, again, if you want to see all that good stuff, stay tuned to the to the episode that will be coming out later today. Um, but Ori is a nice, beefy, thick man, okay? Um, I wanted him to be, uh, I wanted him to have a different body type. Um, just because um, I play a lot with the same body type. I try not to, but to me, it's not the same body type. But to y'all, it's the same, but it ain't. Um, so he has a different body type. He's, he's tall, he's muscular, he's big and beefy and around, and he can protect, honey. Um, but yes, everybody just turned out to be so cute. I had so much fun doing this. I'm actually so freaking excited to play with this. I can't even tell you how excited I am to just dive into all of this and just live life like it's golden. I'm just so ready. It's going to be beautiful. I just realized I did not introduce myself. If you have stuck through this one. <laughs> Hello. My name is D. And um, I do a, uh, a lot of Sims videos. Um, I upload Monday through Saturday. So if you are new and you would like to know more about my channel, uh, Kaya Ulu is just one of four other LPs. A uh, one of five of four, uh, okay, one of five other LPs on my channel. So if you are interested, there are playlists, all that good stuff. But make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell so you know when your girl posts. And make sure for your post notification bell, make sure it says all posts so you can get my community posts and things like that. Because if something does go wrong or things change, I always post on my community tab as well as Twitter. Twitter is the best way to know anything about me. If you, j Twitter. Okay, D, D what, where did you get the, Twitter? Okay, Twitter. So, all of that information is in the description down below. So, make sure y'all click all of them links, get connected with your girl. And welcome to the Z Squad, boo thing. So, welcome. Um, also, I stream on Twitch uh, every day, Monday through Saturday as well. So, if you're looking for some extra content, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Again, all the information in the description down below. But again, y'all, I hope y'all are excited for this pack. I am so ready to dive into this new couple and their new lives and how they are going to uh, give to the island and how they're going to love each other and grow their family as well as their other family back at home. So I just think it's so beautiful that they're about to have generations as well as start their own family. And I just, it's just beautiful. It's just, isn't Ori just, mm. Isn't he beautiful? I love him so much. Um, but I'm going to shut up and I'm going to let y'all um, look and, and dive into the rest of this. Um, there are some pictures at the end of this video as well as the intro, the Machinima intro to the new LP. So if you are, if that's something that you want to see, make sure you stick around to the end of the video where you'll see the intro to Kaya Lulu. But until then... Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to stay beautiful, stay lovely, and have a grand, grand day. Bye, guys.